Tony from LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com and today I wanted to talk to you about a question uh, that was recently submitted. Uh, should I paint my car in pieces or at once? Now I don't want to make this a super long video but let's just get to the points really quick. Um, why to paint in pieces I'm going to cover and I'm also going to cover why not to paint in pieces and the pros and cons of both. Okay. Uh, why to paint in pieces? If you're doing a complete restoration, um, if you don't have a big space in your garage, uh, if you want to paint um, not only you know the outside of your fender, say you're working on an old Ford truck or something, and you also want to get uh, behind your, your fender where the panel meets to the body, right in back of it, you want to make sure everything is completely painted nicely, then painting in pieces may not be a bad idea. Okay, uh, and also if you're limited on space, so if you have a small garage and you could only fit a couple of pieces in there at a time, um, and you have a car that you can completely disassemble, or a motorcycle, of course you're going to want to paint in pieces, or a small go-kart or whatever you're working on, it is a good way to paint in pieces. But why not to paint in pieces? Um, if you're doing a custom job, custom colors like candies, uh, flakes and pearls and stuff like that. Um, I really recommend not uh, to paint in pieces because especially when doing flake, right, you, you want to try to get the flake on as even as possible. So if you're painting it in pieces, um, you say one day you're doing the hood and two fenders and the next day you want to do the doors and the quarter panels and stuff like that if you're working on a car, um, you know, you're going to have to, number one, you're going to have to get the mixtures correct, right, which is going to be you know, you have to measure everything out perfectly and you have to get the spraying techniques down, how many coats you're laying on top of it and it's going to be tough matching, you know what I mean? When you're doing it one day and another day you're doing it, uh, especially with flakes and even pearls and even more candies, like you, could, you can't paint candy colors uh, in pieces, it's not recommended. It's best to paint candy coats when the whole car is complete uh, because most times when painting candy you have to run down the whole side of the car with your single spray to make sure everything is nice and even. So that's the whole deal with candy paints and all that other stuff. So those are the pros and cons. Uh, pieces are at once, so if you have to do it in pieces, try to do um, a, clear, a, ba a regular base coat, clear coat, or an enamel job uh, that doesn't have any added flakes in it. If it's a regular metallic color, I don't think you're gonna have a problem. You're really not gonna have a problem, actually. Just make sure everything is mixed the same the second day that you start painting, all right? But once you start adding pearls, flakes, and candies into your clears um, and doing three-stage paints, it gets tougher um, because you're trying to get it even, right? So I don't recommend that. If you're doing just a regular base coat solid or even a metallic color that's already mixed into the base coat, painting in pieces, you're okay, all right? Um, again, if you're gonna be doing candies, Make sure everything is together uh, or you're doing it at one time. So if you're doing like a motorcycle fairing kit and everything, just make sure that you're going over everything pretty evenly with the can smaller parts. But big things like cars and stuff, I don't recommend shooting candy in pieces because it's tough. You're going to see a color match. With a motorcycle, yeah, doing candies, flakes, and pearls, you can do it in one piece because you're doing everything at once. You know, you got your fairings over here, uh, you got your motorcycle tank, you got your fender, everything's like right around in front of you and you could basically see the whole color difference and the flake and everything at once, all right? So what I mean by pieces is all your pieces not in the same room painting at the same time. You do know what I mean? I hope you understand that. So what I mean in pieces is if you just have the front of your car in the booth one day or in your garage and you're painting and the rest of the car is not not in in pieces but if you're doing the whole car in pieces in your garage then uh, doing pearls and flakes may not be that bad uh, but candies I really recommend if you're doing a complete paint job with candies make sure the whole car is assembled uh, and, and you could just you know flow everything out you know one two coats of candy and it's gonna look really really nice so I hope this kind of cleared everything up for you about should I paint my car in pieces or not and uh, leave comments below if you have any questions and uh, if you're on YouTube click like please 
and uh, click the description link below. It's going to take you over to the blog at learnautobodyandpaint.com where you could download a free 85 page auto body and paint manual. I think you're really, really going to like it. A lot of people download it and say they, they love the content. There's a lot of free information in it, 85 full pages of content. There's no fluff or filler in it. I think you're going to like it and it's absolutely free. So go there right now, download it. Uh, if you're on the blog right now, comment below. I would love to hear back from you. I read every single post on this website. I read every single post on YouTube and I comment back. So thanks for sharing. Uh, I'll see you inside. Bye-bye.